I have got some charcoal little products that we're going to try today from the Dollar Tree. Hey guys, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I am a Dollar Tree lover, as many know who follow my channel. And I, a while ago, picked up tons of charcoal products, mostly skin, some teeth, and we're just going to give them a try today and tomorrow because there's no way I'm going to use like both face washes and both masks like today. That's kind of ridiculous. Why waste a dollar? So uh, I will be checking in tomorrow as well. But today we are going to be starting with our toothpaste, our charcoal toothbrush, as well as this charcoal powder that apparently whitens your teeth. And then today, I think I'm gonna go with this facial cleanser as well as this pink charcoal mask just to make it some extra fun. And then tomorrow I will be using the Pons uh, charcoal facial foam and the charcoal bubble mask that is in this pack, which is not pink, unfortunately. All right, so we have our charcoal bamboo toothbrush. It says it is charcoal infused bristles. They're ultra soft bristles, hopefully ultra soft, uh, infused with activated charcoal that removes stains to help whiten teeth. And the bamboo handle is made of MOS bamboo and environmentally sustainable timber. And it is treated to like have some water resistance. So hopefully this will be worth it. All right, so the bristles, the bristles, the bristles, the bristles seem soft. I did see like one fling out as I was doing that, but no more. So this is a nice smooth little wood, not getting any splinters. So then we have, this is also Brush Buddies. So this was a Brush Buddies toothbrush and this is the Brush Buddies herbal toothpaste infused with activated charcoal. It's supposed to help whiten your teeth. So I'll definitely be checking in like at the end of the month or whatever to let you guys know if my teeth are actually whiter. Got our nice size toothpaste. It's 3.5 ounces. So not too big, but not like a travel size one. It smells minty, like a normal toothpaste. Cool mint. So it's not like you're gonna be tasting some funky thing. But here we go. Nice and black. Let's see how my teeth will look with this. Okay, so what was kind of weird was like this part was thicker than I was expecting, I guess compared to my other toothbrush. Like it just kind of felt like I had more in between my teeth and my cheeks. But once I got over that, I actually really like it. It's very like smooth. The bristles are soft. So if you have sensitive gums or whatever, like I think that's nice. I like the toothbrush. The toothpaste is nice and minty. I don't really feel like it made my teeth look super black as I was using it, but that may change because now we're gonna use the Ultimate White Charcoal Powder, which is also from the Dollar Tree. And the directions for this say, use a soft, damp toothbrush and dip the bristle tips into the powder, brush for two minutes and rinse thoroughly, and use twice a day for a whiter smile. So we're gonna give this a try. Initially opening, there's like another seal that needs, oh no, it's not another seal. It's like a little lid that comes with a little handle. And we got all our little charcoal powder in there. There's a substantially good amount, maybe more than what you would expect to get for a dollar, but I would say it's probably about half the container. So maybe it is what you would expect. Hey, got my wet bristles. I'm gonna dip it in. Charcoal powder is on. Now I expect my teeth to get black. after spitting one time. It's so foamy. 
my tongue is black. My toothbrush is like super foamy, as you guys can see. I'm gonna keep brushing, but it's like even bubbling like on the back of the brush. So it's doing something. This is after one rinse with a little bit of water. Obviously my lips are still black, but I'm gonna keep rinsing until it's all nice and clean. I do want to note that my toothbrush like handle kind of where it was all black is darker. So I'm gonna wipe that down with a paper towel as well. Okay, so here you go. This is after just one use using the charcoal toothpaste, the charcoal infused bristle brush, as well as the charcoal powder. So I wasn't expecting it to be so foamy, the powder, but you know, we'll see if it works. I'm actually gonna reopen it. I'm hoping that, yeah, it doesn't look like inserting the wet bristles in here is gonna like activate it or anything. So I think we're good on that. You're not gonna like waste a whole bunch of stuff because extra moisture got in there. But let's move on to our skincare. So again, I'm gonna be using this compared to Biore Charcoal Cleanser, which is probably more of like a Dollar Tree brand. Tomorrow I'll be using the ponds. So charcoal cleanser and this brightening bubble clay mask. We'll see if it makes me extra glowy, you know, because I'm pregnant and all. So let's give this a try. All right, so I have it all over my face. It feels like cool. Um, not really tingly, but kind of tingly. And I don't know. Um, I don't know how it's going to compare to the facial foam, but it's kind of a cleanser that I could see using like my little scrub glove or whatever, like in the shower. Cause I don't really like washing my face with like this type of cleanser outside the shower. I just kind of feel like it's harder to get off and I'm like rinsing my face all the time. So that's how I anticipate this will be, but I could see definitely using this in the shower and keeping up that routine. All right, here we go. This is after the cleanser. Um, my skin feels clean. It kind of feels now like still kind of tingly and I feel like like the inside of my face is warming up. I don't know if that makes any sense. All right, this says it's gonna take 20 minutes, so we'll see how this goes. It says that I should uh, apply this generously to my clean, dry face avoiding eyes and lips, watch it naturally foam up and then leave it on for 20 minutes, gently massage it all over the face to melt down dirt and then rinse off with lukewarm water. So let's see how this little pink thing goes. I, I guess it, it feels like a liquid inside. Maybe I can just use like half of it and then save the other half another day. I don't know. Um, let's just see how much I actually use up. All right, they didn't have an easy tear, so I had to use like a nail clipper to get it started. But once that initial kind of break was made, it was pretty easy to tear off. And we got a nice pink little cream coming up. I probably won't be able to break this up into more than one use. So here we go. don't want to waste so I'm like applying it to my neck 
this would be a great thing to do before you enter the shower. I really should have thought about this earlier. I think this is good enough. If you guys can see, it is like definitely starting to bubble. I'll touch it with a finger that didn't have anything on it. So there's like definitely, it's raising off of my face. If you can't obviously tell, I've got a lot of it on my fingers, but for the most part, I've emptied this out. You might be able to get two uses out of it um, if you're sharing it with someone like right away because even like it started to foam once I opened this, like where it got exposed. So it's not like you can like easily seal it up, but I'm gonna set a 20 minute timer and check back in. Okay guys, are you ready? I look ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so uh, before I like swallow this little bit that's gonna enter my mouth, I do wanna mention Dollar Tree sells these silicone things, which I could have easily used to apply this thing instead of getting it all over my hands. So keep that in mind. And then Dollar Tree also sells one of these things, a dollar. So not, in, you know, batteries I don't think were included, but you know, this pops off, you can rinse it out. Uh, you can use this for the face cleansing as well. But now, it's been about 20 minutes. I don't really wanna wait much longer. It's been at least 15, if not somewhere in between 15 and 20. So we got our bubbles. My whole finger pretty much like disappeared. My forehead's I think the worst. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay, so we're just gonna pop this and uh, just rub it out. All right, so <laughs> I still look ridiculous. This is another product. I have something similar that I bought like off Amazon and it always takes forever to wash off. And this is something that I wish I did before a shower as well. So, you know, what can you do? Let's go ahead and see how long it takes me to rinse this off. Okay, so that took about two minutes to get off my face and my neck. Um, at looking closer at like my pores that like look like they were clogged or whatever, like they still don't look like totally clean and smaller or anything like that. My skin feels like it's been cleaned, you know, I would hope so. I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize with my own stuff and finish getting ready for bed, but uh, I will check in tomorrow with the Pons Foaming Facial Cleanser. And then this bubble mask actually isn't like just the cream, it's actually like a mask that you put on. So this will be, you know, a different experience for tomorrow. So stay tuned for tomorrow's little update on those products. But for tonight, it was, you know, it'd be more relaxing. I think if you were in the tub and, you know, had a break and had your favorite show on or whatever, here I'm just kind of standing and I was like, watching some YouTube on my phone while I waited. So, you know, it wasn't the most relaxing experience, but I do feel like my face is cleaner, maybe not completely, you know, dirt free. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. All right, guys, we are on day two of this little charcoal tryout. I do want to note that something I discovered about this little charcoal toothpaste is that it actually says fluoride free. And for the instructions, it says don't uh, exceed once daily. And it actually recommends only using this like two to three times per week. So I won't be using this every day. I will be using just some other toothpaste with fluoride so that my teeth are more protected. So I'm gonna do my little mouth routine right now and then I will check back in as soon as that is done so I can show you my skincare. Okay, so as you guys know from a couple clips ago, today we are doing the Pond's Pure Detox Facial Foam and that just is like wet your face, massage it on and then rinse it off. And then after that, I'm planning on using this bubble face mask. And this is like one of those masks that you actually put on. So I will still look a little bit ridiculous. It will start foaming. And then let's see, after about 20 minutes, it says massage the bubbles that come out of the sheet, then remove the mask and wash the bubbles off with water. So hopefully this won't be too messy. 
I am going to go and not just stand in the bathroom watch YouTube the whole time. I'm just going to go relax on the couch and enjoy this time and try to relax since Aubrey is in bed and this is my me time. But let's go ahead and start with this. They said, don't fall, don't forget all the things you've been taught, you've been told. Don't blink, don't run, don't turn left or turn right or look straight at the sun. My mind's gone in circles, I'm trying to... Okay, so it smells like a normal like face mask cleanser thing. Um, it's not like obviously foaming to the point like where it's bubbling, but it is a different texture than when I first squeezed it out of the bottle. So I'm just going to go ahead and rinse this off. Again, this is probably a type of cleanser I would want to use in the shower because I have a feeling it's going to take forever to rinse off. But let's go ahead and rinse that off and then I'll let you know how clean my face feels. Okay. So, as I was like getting the last little bits off as I was like washing or rubbing it was like squeak 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 like there was like zero oil on my face uh, because this cleaner did I guess a good job so my skin definitely felt clean as I was rinsing off all of the rest of the bubbles and stuff so it just kind of like you know feels clean just like the other product I can't really say that one feels like it works better than the other uh, so let's go ahead and try this mask now. Alrighty, let's see. It's black. Very wet. Not too much liquid like in the packaging though. These things always make me look ridiculous. Here we go. Let's see. I really don't want to get it in my eyes. I feel like the nose like could have been covered better, but whatever maybe i just have a abnormally large nose so clearly we can see it's already starting to foam so i'm just gonna go relax on the couch you kind of see the bubbles like on my hands already so i will come back and it will be probably so hard for me to talk so here's the before and here is the after <laughs> i look like santa all right so my camera like ran out of storage so I removed the mask, I massaged the bubbles on my face, and they, it looks like they're almost pretty much not even on there. I'm gonna rinse them off and I will let you know how squeaky clean my face feels. All right, my headband fell off. Um, I wanna note that as I was wearing the mask, it was like my face felt like it was on the verge of feeling warm and tingly without actually feeling warm and tingly. So I hope that gives you a good idea of what to expect if you use that mask. And unlike the face wash, I didn't feel like squeaky clean as I was rinsing off these bubbles. And I don't know if that just means that it hydrated my skin or what, but uh, it wasn't like squeak squeak every time I was moving my hands on my cheeks. I do feel like my skin, as I'm looking in the mirror, not necessarily in the camera, I look way more pale in the camera, but I feel like it's glowy, you know? And that could just be because I'm pregnant or that this actually did a good job. So I'm gonna finish this off by using my Yes2 Watermelon Daily Gel Moisturizer. Uh, this is something that I, it's not like I'm like in love with it. I like it, it's fine. Um, I don't really feel like I'm in love with much. It is pink and it's just kind of jelly. And I just do a little bit. Um, I got this because of a promotion at Walmart and I got like a rebate on it uh, using my Ibotta app. And I have a whole video on Ibotta. If you want a referral code, I will put mine up on the screen here. But it has saved me like, I wanna say close to $600 and I haven't even been using it that much recently. Um, but it is like a lifesaver. It's a great way if you get gift cards for people for gifts to do it through there and you get money back. So I will put the link to that video up above and in the description box, but I got some of these Yes2 products and that's why I have this. It's not because like it was recommended to me, but I like it. So just to kind of wrap up this video, I think that these products um, were, you know, they weren't horrible at all, uh, especially for Dollar Tree products. 
it's hard for me to say that they are like the best product in the world because when it comes to skincare stuff, I'm not very particular, but it wasn't like I had a horrible experience. So if I'm looking to have like a spa day type feel, these masks are definitely like an option for me. And if that is something that you guys are into, at least give them a try. I do feel like my skin is, you know, nice and clean and glowy. And so that is kind of what I'm going for. <laughs> if you think it looks bad, let me know if you have a recommendation for a product down below in the comments. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. That really helps me out. And if you guys are new here, I would love for you to stick around and continue to support my channel by subscribing and just checking out all that I have to offer. If you guys want specific videos on anything, let me know those down below in the comments as well, and I will try to do my best to please you guys, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.